Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Clearly, I'm still not awake yet. And look at this bag under my eyes. But anyway, um, it's Monday morning at approximately 6.40 a.m. It is week number two for me um, being a vet assistant. So I'm just pretty much getting ready for work. And then I'm about to head out probably in about 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, I put my hair in these pigtails last night because I kind of wanted to see if I could master a wavy look today. So we're going to see how that came out. <laughs> Alright guys, so my hair kind of came out, I guess, the way I was, what I was going for, but it's fine. Um, so basically my first week was obviously last week and today is my second week. Um, and one of the first things that I learned was if you have an engagement ring or a wedding band, definitely get yourself one of these like silicone bands. Ew, my fingers look so chubby. But I got a pack of, let me grab them. I got a pack of four for I think like 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, here's my actual ring. So I wore this to work for the first week, but honestly, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> One of my doctors said that he actually lost his wedding ring while he was at work during, like, he had to take it off for surgery. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll just, I'll get, like, silicone bands because I'm dealing with a whole bunch of bodily fluids and a whole bunch of stuff that I really don't want to get on my ring. So that's why I got the pack of these. <laughs> Lesson number one. But um, anyway... So I'm pretty much just going to finish getting ready, grab my lunch, and then I'm going to head out. Good morning, princess. <laughs> Does anyone else's cat love to sleep on the steps or just mine? Because I almost kill myself every day tripping over her. So before I leave, one of the first things I have to do is feed my cats. Because if I don't, they're going to scream at me all day all day oops isn't that right mama yeah see yeah i know she just missed the bowl a little bit but mm -hmm. so luckily i started to get my lunch ready last night um which is always a smart thing to do so as you can see here i can't flip the camera i actually can't flip the camera around but um basically i made myself um Two little things of my lunch here where the top one's gonna be salad, the bottom's actually some chicken and vegetables. And then I have my dressing here. And then for breakfast, I have this Quest bar and an apple. I also let this water diffuse overnight. It's got um, blueberries and lemon in it. All right guys, so it's actually about 7.07. .07. I have to head out to go to work now it's about a 35 40 minute drive i have to be there by eight yeah so okay guys so i just got to work i'm about 15 minutes early um so i'm kind of just going to chill in my car for a little bit before i have to go in maybe you look over some of my study materials um so since it's monday i'm kind of anticipating it being busy today um last monday i know we were like extremely busy especially in the morning typically all of our surgery patients come in before 8 a.m that way um we can get them all prepped and the doctor you know can start doing surgeries earlier in the day because those obviously take a lot longer than um, regular sick and healthy appointments um so we have the surgery patients in the morning and then we try to get in all of the sick appointments and then the healthy appointments at the end of the day because at the end of the day you know you kind of want those quick in and out appointments rather than sick appointments that are going to take a lot longer to try and diagnose and things like that so um yeah that's how i'm kind of expecting today to go um i'll obviously check in with you guys probably around lunchtime um and let you know how the day's gone so far and then later on tonight when i get home i'll really like sit down and talk in depth about my first week and how everything went and how i'm liking it so far hey guys so i'm actually about to go um back in for my break we get an hour lunch break, which is honestly so awesome. Coming from hospitality where you would get 30 minutes to an hour is just perfect because I actually have time to eat my food and like relax afterwards. Um, but this morning was actually pretty slow. It wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. This afternoon is going to be not so much fun. We, we do have a lot coming in and we have to do euthanasia, unfortunately. So 
Hey guys, so right now I'm doing some more online training um, just to kind of get that out of the way. It's always the fun stuff. So yeah, I'm trying to do some online training that way I can be more hands-on when I'm actually training in the hospital. Typically once I get home, one of the first things I do is I literally will strip out of my scrubs and I will throw them immediately in the washer just because I don't want to take in anything gross you know I have two cats myself so I don't want to bring anything home to them whether it be like parasites or whatever since I'm literally working on animals who have bugs parasites fleas ticks uh, touching urine feces like all that gross stuff all day I don't want to bring any of that into the house with me um, so yeah I do that and then I pretty much whoo I will pretty much go and take a shower directly after that, just to make sure I'm clean, and then I'll kind of relax um, for the rest of the night. So that, that was day one of week two. Hey guys, so um, I'm home now, showered, already had dinner. Um, so now I kind of just want to talk a little bit about how my first week went. Um, basically last week I worked about four days. Um, my shifts were a little sporadic. Um, I think like one day I went in from nine to three, then I was seven to five. Actually, I think that might have been it. Nine to, nine to three, seven to five, something like that. Um, excuse me. Um, so it was really just kind of getting to know... Um, the hospital and getting to know the people that were there. Um, there's obviously like so much training that I have to go through um, because I actually don't have any experience whatsoever as a vet assistant or a vet tech or anything like that. I don't even have a certification um, or schooling or anything. Um, I'm planning to, so I'm finishing my, um, just like hair flying around, I'm finishing my um, associate's degree for hospitality and general studies. Then I plan on going to university um, to study pre-vet zoology and then also marine and aquatic science. So this is kind of my entry, like my stepping stone, my beginning stepping stone into getting where I want to be. Um, I wasn't thinking about doing the certified vet tech program, but now I kind of am because I, I really do enjoy it a lot. Um, and that's something else that I wanted to mention, you know, really evaluate your life and really evaluate what makes you happy. I cannot stress this enough, like find your passion because for so long I was really complacent in life with my jobs, with just, you know, coming home and laying on the couch and watching Netflix all day. But I found things that I'm really passionate about and I enjoy doing and I'm motivated to do, you know, like... I love my job. I love waking up now. I love going to work. Not that I didn't like waking up before, but I love waking up to go to work. I love being at work. I love, you know, not coming home <laughs> from work. Like, I'm I'm excited. And the people that I work with are awesome, too, which is always, always a plus. Um, and then on top of that, like, I have my sticker shop that I'm really excited to, to try to grow and work on. Um, and then on top of going to school, because I'm a nerd and I love going to school. Um, but yeah, so find what you're passionate about in life and just go for it. Don't make excuses because I made excuses for so long that, oh, I can't do this because, you know, I'm not really good at math or, oh, I don't have any experience. I don't have this. I can't do that. Just like, I know it's easier said than done, but take that mindset and literally throw it away because you can do whatever you set your mind to. And if it's something you love you will find a way I'm telling you and you will be so much happier especially with everything that's going on in the world right now you need to find an outlet you need to find something that just really lights up your soul um, but yeah so last week was my first week today was the start of my second week um, I kind of just wanted to hop on and tell you guys a little bit about how, you know, my typical day seems to be going, about how life is at work and what I'm doing and things like that. So I just finished my second work week as a vet assistant and to be completely honest with you, I am com like totally feeling really comfortable 
um, more hands-on, being more hands-on. And I actually started to intake some of my own patients, which was really exciting. Um, cause the way that it works is obviously you have your vet techs and vet assistants and then you have your doctors. So, um, the client service coordinator, which is your, um, receptionist, so to speak, um, they're the ones that are checking in clients and checking them out sometimes. And they will let you know when there's a patient waiting in the lobby. So they pretty much, um, intercom back. I couldn't think of the word for a second. They will intercom back to say, Hey, like Lucky's here checking in. Um, so whoever is free or whoever, you know, can spare, um, a couple of minutes or wants to take in another pet, they will go out there. Um, actually before they go out there, they will look in the, um, petware software and see what they're there for. Pretty much just look up their history, kind of get a better idea of what you're walking into. And then you would go out into the lobby and you would intake the pet. So you would ask the owner different questions, um, pretty much just asking how they're doing, if they have any concerns, kind of go over what they're there for, um, things like that. And then when you intake that pet, that pet is pretty much your responsibility from then on out until they check out. So um, I, I didn't take anything that was too crazy. You know, I just really did more of your basic um, drop offs for vaccines or a quick exam, things like that, that were kind of easier just so I can get used to the process. So um, I did that and then once you take them into the back, depending on what the doctor is doing, they can either see them right then and there or you would put them in a kennel um, until the doctor was able to see them, see them and you would be the one that would get all of their vaccines ready. You would um, assist with the physical exam and restraining the pet and things like that. And then you would also be the one um, pretty much responsible for putting in all of the medical notes um, to be able to get ready to check that pet out. And then sometimes, depending on if the doctor wanted to call them, um, you would call the owner to let them know that they were ready to get picked up. And then you'd fill their prescriptions, um, things like that. And then um, sometimes you would be the one that would actually physically check them out also, or it would be the client service coordinator, which uh, we call CSCs, or even, you know, the doctor would typically go out there and speak to them as well. So I really did more of that this week. Um, I did also do some more online training because it's, it's necessary. Um, but I think almost every job for the most part has some sort of online training that you have to do just at least to grasp the basics. I know I did when I started at the Marriott four or five years ago. Um, but yeah, so it was a really good week. I'm really excited to get started on next week. Um, next week, I'm actually not working that much because it's my birthday and it's my sister's birthday and we're actually going away to Tennessee for the weekend. So um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, if you wanna know more, um, you know, comments, concerns, whatever, definitely leave me a comment down below, like, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, other than that, I will catch you guys later. Have a great weekend.